Hello and welcome to this video covering the innovation of the soft palate, the oral cavity and the tongue. We're going to kick things off by reviewing some of the basic anatomy of the region, starting with the uvulae. This is a structure that hangs down in the midline and supports and thickens the soft palate. The soft palate is a structure that extends from the hard palate posteriorly. It can be both depressed and elevated. Elevation in particular will separate the nasopharynx from the oropharynx. Sitting between two arches are the palatine tonsils, one on each side, and these are the main structures that most people consider to be the tonsils. This depression that the palatine tonsil sits in is created by an arch posteriorly. This is called the palatopharyngeal arch. There is an arch sitting anteriorly, and this is called the palatoglossal arch. Now at the back of the tongue, there is a space that extends from there to the posterior wall of the pharynx, and this is referred to as the oropharynx. So let's now talk about the muscles that sit deep to the mucosa here. We've got the musculus uvulae, which is innervated by the vagus nerve via the pharyngeal plexus. And like all structures innervated by vagus in this region, they are really innervated by the cranial accessory nerve, although vagus nerve gets the credit. So there's the musculus uvulae there. The next muscle is the palatoglossus muscle. The palatoglossus muscle is innervated by vagus and it depresses the palate, moves the palatoglossal arch forward from the midline and elevates the back of the tongue. The palatopharyngeus is a muscle also innervated by the vagus nerve. It depresses the soft palate, moves the palatopharyngeal arch forward from the midline and elevates the pharynx. The palatoglossus is also a tongue muscle and is the odd man out in the sense that it's the only muscle innervated by the vagus from that group. Now, a muscle not seen on this diagram is the levator veli palatini muscle. It's innervated by the vagus nerve and is the only muscle to elevate the soft palate above the neutral position. The tensor veli palatini, also not seen, can be considered to be involved in mastication as it tenses the soft palate. It does so and at the same time opens the auditory tube. So all the muscles in this group are innervated by the vagus via the pharyngeal plexus and the odd man out is the tensor veli palatini innervated by trigeminal. Sticking with trigeminal, we're now going to move on to the innervation of the tongue. The trigeminal nerve is general sensory to the anterior two thirds of the tongue seen in blue here. It also contributes general sensory innervation to the roof of the oral cavity and the floor of the oral cavity as well, not seen in this diagram. So the coverage here seen in blue of the trigeminal nerve. The glossopharyngeal nerve is general sensory and special sensory. So if we look first of all at the tongue, we'll notice that its coverage in yellow here is on the posterior one third. So that is general sensory and special sensory to that region. It is general sensory only to a portion of the oral cavity seen in yellow here. The facial nerve is special sensory and it is special sensory to the anterior two thirds of the tongue. So it covers the anterior two thirds of the tongue for special sensory innovation. We already know that the blue region here is general sensory of the anterior two thirds and that's covered by trigeminal. So let's just have a look at what we're referring to here as being the anterior two thirds of the tongue and the posterior one third of the tongue. Before we finish, we must remember a small portion of the root of the tongue, which has innervation by the vagus nerve. And this is special sensory. So here we cover the afferent innervation of the oral cavity and the tongue. Okay, that's it for now. See you next time. Subscribe to Soton Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.